Yes. You are welcome to this class. Here we want to solve this problem. If you are just joining or subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. So here let us use this x raised to power 3 to open this bracket. And this will give us x raised to power 5 minus 5 x raised to power 3 then equals to minus 4 x. And also we can bring this minus 4 x to this side so that we now have it as x raised to power 5 minus 5 x raised to power 3 then plus 4 x then will be equals to 0. And from there we can still factor 1 x out because we can see that x is common on the left hand side. So that will be x outside the bracket now. So we have x out into bracket x raised to power 4 left here then minus 5 x squared then plus 4 so equals to 0 so here we have two products product of two numbers equals to 0 so we can see the first one x equals to 0 or we have the second one x raised to power 4 minus 5 raised to power x squared plus 4 equals to 0 now we can rewrite this and see let this one be x squared then raised to power 2 minus 5 x squared then plus 4 equals to 0 so from here I can say let x squared be a letter let's say p let p represent x squared then we can replace it here now and write this one as p squared minus 5p plus 4 equals to 0 and by the time we solve this now we have p minus 4 these are the factor then p minus 1 because we have minus 4 minus 1 give us minus 5 and minus 1 times minus minus 1 times minus 4 give us plus 4 equals to 0 so it's telling us that is it that p equals to 4 or p equals to 1 here and from there so our p is s squared we can say s squared equals to 4 or s squared equals to 1 i can take the square root on both sides to get my x so and you know that this will be s x may now be equals to plus or minus square root of 4 which is or on this side x equals to plus or minus square root of 1 and here that means x equals to plus or minus 2 or x equals to plus or minus 1 so the values of x that we have now from the first one we have x equals to 0 and we also have x could be negative 2 or positive 2 and x could be positive 1 or negative 1 so these are the values of our x thank you for joining us and uh, don't forget to click on the like button and also subscribe if you are yet to subscribe see you in the next class and bye for now